egunon eta arratsaldeon depending on where you are. I have to speak with my my mask, but I hope it won't be a problem. I'll try to speak uh, loud. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me to participate in this in this session. We Basques are closely attached to the history of the United States. Countless Basque men and women and their descendants have helped to shape the reality of that country even since before its foundations. Five centuries ago, in 1533, Bertendona from Alaba may have been the first European to walk on Californian land. The presence of Basque among the first European settlers in Nevada or Idaho is unquestionable. In the late 19th century, a new wave of, of Basque immigrants made its way to the US. Ellis Island became the point of entrance. The so-called Basque hotels started opening and around them, the first communities began to take shape. As the Basque began to settle in and leave the hotels and boarding houses, Basque centers opened. The first was in the, the, the New York Bus Center in 1913. In the decades of the 40s and 50s of the 20th century, bus centers proliferated in California, Idaho, and Nevada. In 1938, the bus government delegation opened in New York to serve as the operation base for the Dakaria Aguirre's government. The year 1973 saw the creation of NAVO. Its slogan, celebrate plus educate equals perpetuate, reflects the deep rooted desire of the Basque American identity to continue in the new generations. In the 90s, after our admission to the European communities, the Basque government begins to implement policies to back export first and to boost, uh, boost internationalization later. In time, a policy of relations with the Basque collectivities abroad is established. Basque delegation and trade offices are opened in different countries. The Echepare Institute is constituted to promote the Basque culture and language abroad, and the Basque Tour Agency is created. In the early 90s, the business sector is the spearhead of an unstoppable internationalization process later joined by the academic, cultural, and institutional world. The United States emerges as one of the main destinations of this process. In the last eight years, the framework strategy for internationalization has marked the direction followed by Euskadi Basque countries for foreign action and international reach. And the United States, for obvious reasons, has been one of its priority destinations. Today, Basque presence in the United States is widespread. And I will now give just a brief overview of the situation as it stands today. The Basque government currently has a delegation with headquarters in New York to attend our interest in the United States. This presence ties in with the steps taken in times of Lendakari Aguirre's government, as I said before, and follows a strategic, a strategic criterion. New York is the home of the United States and has the world's biggest diplomatic corps. The Basque Trade and Investment Office in Washington, D.C. reinforces the backing provided to enterprises in their access to that market. At the end of 2019, the United States is the Basque country's fourth trading partner. Almost 400 companies regularly export there and their trade relation has recorded a, a growing trend. Commercial expansion has given way to a process of growing investment, which has received different kinds of support from the Basque institutions. Repayable advanced payments, subsidies, accompaniment and advice. Today, 85 companies have direct presence in the country related to either commercial offices or production plants. A total of 200 establishments are distributed all over the country and particularly in the states of New York, California, Illinois, Michigan, and Massachusetts, and in the sectors of renewable energies, environment, automotive industry, machine tooling, engineering, and railway. Similarly, somewhere around 100 Basque companies 
has US capital. Both the delegation's business team and the BTI office in Washington provide personalized assistance to bus companies with plans to expansion of expansion in this market. Two years ago, the number of companies that received accompaniment stood at 68. In the field of culture, the Chepare works to internationally promote teaching and use of Basque in the academic sphere. It promotes studies of Basque language and culture in the network of universities with which it has collaboration ag uh, agreements. In the academic year 2018-2019, the United States, the country with the highest number of universities to have staff teaching Basque language and culture. Specifically, five universities out of a total of 35, namely California, Los Angeles, California, Santa Barbara, Chicago, Illinois, at Urbana Champaign, and Boise State. That same year, it led the way in the number of enrollments with a total of 446 students. The Echepare Academic Network constitutes an important source of cultural dissemination, given that the Basque teachers organize numerous uh, cultural activities, congresses, conferences, Corrica Days, Euskera Egunas, dedicated to, to the Basque language. On top of that, five chairs in international Basque studies out of a total of nine are located in the US. They encourage specialized education and academic research in Basque studies. The chairs are organized through placement for specialized teachers, artists, or creators at the partner university. Also worthy of mention is the Center for Basque Studies at the University of Nevada. Since 1967, it has developed many initiatives. It started with the Basque Book Series, followed by the creation of the Young Bilbao Basque Studies Library, the program of stays, uh, to study it, the doctorate program. Today, the center is the benchmark of Basque studies in English. In the academic year 2018-2019, I was referring before, 15 Euskalechea in the, in, the, in the US participated in the Euskera Mundua program. Euskera was taught to 198 students from a total of 1,900 participants in the program. Work is underway in the Basque delegation in collaboration with Echepare to display the Basque culture and convey our reality. Thus, two years ago, the New York City Basque Film Festival was organized for the first time. During the event, four films were screened in original version. Amama, Margot Laria, Urte Berrio Namona and Jaya Leiblos. In collaboration with the Quebec, Flanders and Wales delegation, an event was organized at the UN headquarters of multilingual societies. And every year, the group presence of Euskadi Basque Country at the New York Marathon is promoted. Coming to institutional relations, institutional visits lend different kind of stimulus to the flow of relations. I'll give, you, I'll give some examples. Lendakari Urkuyu has visited the USA on three occasions in the last two terms of office. Our Minister for Economic Development has made several visits to that country. One in the framework of the Smithsonian Folklife Festival, and the most recent ones with agendas focused on cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. We have received the visit of governors especially the governor of Idaho and Nevada, both recently. And in 2019, we received the visit of a delegation from New York City. They were interested in knowing more about the uh, Basque cooperative model and the policies we have to support innovation. With respect to the diaspora, 38 of the 193 Euskal Echeac recorded in the Register of Basque Centers are in the US. California, Idaho, and Nevada are the three states with the highest concentration of, of Euskal Echeac. These centers gather more than 6,000 people, while 58,000 people claimed to feel Basque 
in the census carried out by the United States in the year 2000. All those centers are members of NATO, and the balance of the early decades of NATO is highly positive. Let me just mention some milestones. The Hayaldi Gathering, the creation of the Icastola in Boise, the Udaleku program, the hidden in plain sight exhibition on Ellis Island, and the vast participation, participation in the Smithsonian Folk Life Festival. Okay, this is about the past or the present situation. What about the future? But talking about the future, we are about to start defining the Euskadi Basque Country Strategic Framework on Internationalization 2025, since the previous one has already expired. This strategy will mark the direction to be taken in the coming years. In this new stage, we are committed to increasing Basque presence in the United States and to making a reality in all the we will particularly, particularly focus on promoting a strong nation brand, Euskadi Basque Country, based on our singular nature and identity. This commitment requires the collaboration of all actors in the, of the Basque internationalization ecosystem. I mean, institutions, companies, cultural and academic agents, and of course, the Basque community abroad. Taking the Basque Country, into the international arena requires not only waving alliances ad intra between Basque people, but ad extra with international actors. We need to relate to the leading decision-making centers, think tanks, and innovation hubs, many of them located in the, in the United States. As I said before, the United States will continue to be a priority in our uh, external action and within the country, given its size, we will proceed to identify several prioritary states representing greater interest from a multi-sectoral point of view. Two years ago, we carried out a first exercise to identify those prioritary states with the result of the following eight. California, Massachusetts, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Texas, New York, Idaho and Nevada. And parallel to the definition now, parallel to the definition of the new strategy, we will update this study to adapt it to the new context and to the new transitions to be, uh, to be implemented. Next, we will proceed to identify, to intensify relations with institutions and decision, decision makers at both federal level and at the level of these prioritary states. We will do our best to create a favorable atmosphere for institutional relations, but also for connection between US and Basque agents. Green, digital, and social transitions will be the focus, the main focus of this flow of relations. Exchanges on, on public policies and initiatives are key for energizing the contacts. We aim to reinforce our strategic partners network, including members from the United States. Similarly, we aim to open channels for stable relations with benchmark, benchmark, benchmark think tanks, such as the Atlantic Council, the Brookings Institution, or the Wilson Center. Once international mobility is back up and running, we will return to the learning tour initiative. We will continue to show Euskadi to people who hold important positions in politics, institutional, business, and academic life. In 2017, we organized an special edition with the participation of influential people from the US, and we intend to repeat this same exercise once more. International networks are key tools for harnessing knowledge, positioning public and private Basque agents and presenting the assets that set us apart. The Basque government participates in networks like an under two coalition, which fosters collaboration with partners committed to climate action, such as California. This whole compendium of relations or alliances must serve to spread knowledge of the Euskadi Basque country nation brand. 
It must also help us to gain capacity of influence and contribute to raising a foreign awareness of the Basque internationalization ecosystem. This will be an important term of office for the Basque community abroad, an inflection point in the model of government relation with the, all the, ba the Basque men and women living abroad. We will continue to promote the traditional communities organized around the Euskal Echeas, and we will address the challenge of identifying and remaining in contact with the new waves of mask migrants, fundamentally people who come and go. The context of, of the pandemic is having consequences on the Basque community abroad. Changes in way of relating have accelerated the application of technologies, and these changes represent an opportunity to move forward in articulating an authentic global Basque community. I refer to complementing the physical network of Euskal Echeac with the constitution of a virtual community of people who interact despite finding themselves in different places, in the US, Argentina, in Vizcaya, or uh, in Australia. People who collaborate, debate, and share concerns and projects. A global community who helped to spread the Euskadi Basque Country Nation brand around the world. It is not an easy task, but it is worth the effort. In the past, we have taken a few steps in these directions with very discrete results. We need to go further. Parallel to this, we will continue to promote the Euskal Echeac network by means of programs providing training and support to their activities. By way of example, we propose improving the Gastemundu program considered by NAVO as an asset and updating the benefit scheme for situations of extreme need. We also intend to launch new initiatives, one of those being Danza Munduan. Diaspora is a tool, it's a made up word, but it's a word full of meaning. It is the name given to a work line intending to raise awareness of our migrant reality in the Basque society. To proceed, we propose consolidating the Basque Diaspora Day every September the 8th, promoting the Basque Diaspora Archive, or supporting the creation of a master's degree in Basque Migratory Studies at the University of the Basque Country. In recent years, the international scope of the Basque country has increased. The same can be said of Basque presence in the United States. While we have come part of the way, there is still a great deal to be done. We are faced with a scenario of obvious uncertainty. The pandemic will condition our agenda. We will have to adjust to the present circumstances without losing sight of our goal and working together in true Ausolana fashion. That's our pledge. Thank you very much.